most. Well, in the past, I've worked solely on paper. I love paper. And in my earlier work, paper became a metaphor for skin because I was dealing with pain, with my physical pain, and issues like that. Um, I learned about Chine Collet from uh, Paul Maloney, who I met when he was master printer at Hui No Eau in Maui. And before I worked with him, I only um, printed on rag papers, Western papers. And with the kinds of things I originally started working with him on, um, I really was trying to get the burn mark off of wood. And we, it didn't take long to discover, especially working with him, that it responded to Japanese papers a whole lot better than it responded to uh, Western papers, which have a lot of sizing in them. The Japanese papers, at least the ones we used, didn't have sizing. So I started um, I, working with a, uh, a glass artist, and um, numbers have, um, are pro prominent in my work, and I started um, drawing on large pieces of plywood, and uh, he would follow, the glass artist would follow my lines with molten glass and I would get um, these pieces of plywood and then I cut up that piece or I guess I cut up the, the plywood ahead of time, pieced them together, had the, 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 the glass artist drop the, drop the molten glass on the wood and then the glass is gone and I'm left with these really um, wonderful scorch marks which I started to print and the soot would come off. So, so all the black marks here are, um, it's not ink, it's soot, and it's soot from the plate. Some of these prints that you'll see, some are lighter than others, that means I was just using um, the oil at the time that either had more soot dissolved in it or less. And I left these, I really like these splatters of soot. Um, I could have wiped them off, these little chunks of soot, but I did this um, sort of brown, umberish color is um, something called kakishibu and that is a it is the juice of unripe fermented persimmons and it's what the Japanese used um, they make paper clothes paper umbrellas out of it it's water resistant so I painted that on the plate um, on top of the oil just because oil and and, and the kakishibu didn't mix so it was kind of placing this, this color, which I liked very much, on top of the, on top of the soot, the, um, just to see, just to give it some color and some punch. My husband and I went to Spain, and I've always been attracted to Islamic art um, for as long as I've known about it. And we went to the Alhambra, and I just couldn't get over it. So uh, these tiles were inspired by the Alhambra and sort of my version of, of my, my Ju Judaic Islamic art, so, um, but it's very much inspired by that. Mm -hmm.